Hello, I'm Dr. Amy Schreiben. I'm a nurse practitioner and a doctor of nursing practice. Welcome to Medical Minutes. Infectious mononucleosis, or mono, refers to a group of symptoms usually caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. It typically occurs in teenagers, but you can get this at any age. The virus is spread through saliva, which is why some people call it the kissing disease. However, it can be contracted through other bodily fluids, such as blood. It's also spread through sexual contact and organ transplantation. You can be exposed to the virus by a cough or a sneeze, by kissing, or by sharing food or drinks with someone who has mononucleosis. It usually takes four to eight weeks for symptoms to develop after you're infected. Those between the ages of 15 and 30 years are the highest risk of contracting mononucleosis. However, it can occur in children as young as one year. Once you have had mono, you are likely not to get it again as you become immune. The incubation period of the virus is the time between when you contract the infection and when you start to have symptoms. It lasts four to six weeks. The sign and symptoms of mononucleosis typically last for one to two months. The symptoms may include a fever, a sore throat, small and lymph glands in your neck and armpits, a headache, fatigue, muscle weakness, swollen tonsils, night sweats. In young children, symptoms usually are non-existent and are not recognized as mono. Those at highest risk are young people between the ages of 15 and 30, students, medical interns, nurses, caregivers, and people who take medication that suppress their immune system. Basically, anyone who comes in contact regularly with large numbers of people is at increased risk for mono. This is why high school students and college students frequently become infected. To diagnose mono, you need to see your healthcare provider. Physical examination and blood tests are required to confirm the diagnosis. There's no specific treatment for mono, and treatment is aimed at easing your symptoms. This includes using over-the-counter medicines to reduce fever and techniques to calm a sore throat, such as gargling with salt water. It is important to get a lot of rest. This is the key to bet getting better. Stay hydrated, ideally by drinking water. Eat healthy food that is easy on the stomach, like chicken soup. Using over-the-counter pain medications, such as Advil and Tylenol, but only as directed. Mono usually resolves in two months, and secondary infections can occur, like strep throat, sinusitis, and tonsillitis. In some cases, there can be instances where the spleen and the liver get enlarged, which can lead to other complications. Although rare, you can also see effects to your blood and nervous system. This is why it is very important to see your healthcare provider to assess your symptoms. Always contact your healthcare provider if your symptoms get worse or if you have symptoms that include intense abdominal pain. If you have any questions or comments on what we discussed today, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and we will get back to you. Remember to follow us on Facebook or on our website, The Boca Voice. I'm Dr. Amy Schreiben. See you next time on Medical Minutes.